All right, YouTube. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte uh, called Obama some unkind things, and so Obama, uh, in a huff, getting butthurt, of course, decided he wasn't going to go visit with the Filipinos anymore. Now, the uh, the like the Filipino press and like politicians in general uh, are are saying, "Oh, well, we're sorry for this." I'll point something out. Obama is not the American people. Obama is not the United States. He's just some retard who happens to be president half the time doesn't appear to know what he's doing. So I don't really care if Rodrigo calls him a son of a bitch or a son of a whore. He's right. Is he wrong, honestly? Is he really that wrong when he says this about Obama? Look, I don't fault Obama because, oh, Muslim, Kenyan, socialist. I don't fault Obama because, oh, commie in disguise or any of these things you typically hear uh, from people who are more virulently against him. I criticize him for being a warmonger. I think that he's uh, a warmongering opportunist, a corporate shill. He's backed by a bunch of Wall Street bankers, hedge fund millionaires. He's basically like Clinton. That's why I fault him. I'm not some Tea Party member who says, oh, well, he doesn't praise Jesus enough, so I can't support him. But I will say this, the, the people of the Philippines have made it clear that they're tired of, of drug problems in their country. So they're attacking and killing drug dealers. What's the fucking problem? Now, I don't believe in drug wars. I'll say this. Legalizing all these substances helps you to, to treat people who are addicted. I understand that. But if the people of the Philippines have taken a different route, what business is it of Obama's what they choose to do? What Duterte says he wants done and then what his fans apparently oblige him and they go out and do, which is they're taking... they. I mean, there's a better way that they could be doing this, I would agree, but at the same time, do they not have the right to defend their communities overrun by a bunch of drug pushers? Well, yeah, I, I don't blame them for beating them with a baseball bat. It happens from time to time in places in the United States, too. The real solution is, of course, a lot of these cartels in other states wouldn't even exist if it weren't for the U.S. and Europe's uh, drug absorption habits. And Obama conveniently ignores this fact while pushing the drug war. The fact that you have people more or less openly out in the streets beating drug dealers in the Philippines, it's still a far cry and far smaller than the drug war that happens here. The difference is the drug war here takes place when heavily armed militarized police break into somebody's home, sometimes without realizing it's the wrong home, and start gunning people down in a frenzy over a couple of ounces of marijuana. That's not what appears to be happening in the Philippines. They're taking care of pushers who are giving people opiates and stimulants and things like you know, cocaine and so forth. I don't blame them. I would think the drug war there, I pointed this out when the killing began in the Philippines of some of these drug dealers. Who is Obama trying to fool? What a fucking hypocrite. Oh, some people are dying over in the Philippines. They got killed by mobs because they were dealing drugs. The drug war in the United States has killed tens of thousands of people directly, tens of thousands of more indirectly, has caused probably millions and millions of burglaries, has caused prostitution, has caused every ill under the sun in this country at high levels because of its all-prevailing stupidity, the way it's being carried out by the U.S. government and its ex existence in the first place, and moreover has led to the imprisonment of millions of people who have done nothing to anybody else. So when Obama or anybody else in D.C. tries to play moral police with the Filipinos and say, oh, well, drug war in Philippines bad, well, apparently they think drug war here in the United States is just fine and works. You see, when they're the ones exercising their militarized power, it's a virtue. But if it happens in another country, oh, it's evil. Think of the children. Think of people's civil and human rights. What civil and human rights? Our government ignores them constantly and has for decades on this issue. So I'm not going to listen to a damn thing that Obama has to say. Good on Rodrigo for calling Obama what he is. He's a fucking hypocrite. Not because he's Muslim, Kenyan, socialist. Uh, leave that issue alone. Focus on pragmatism. Has he done anything that he promised to do? Has he made us safer? Has he drawn us closer to our allies? No. He almost alienated the UK with the Brexit nonsense that he got involved in like a total retard. He gets involved in the Philippines, starts a spat with them. He's doing his best in his last year here of alienating a lot of our allies almost as badly as W did. That's why I fault him. So while I will say I don't personally think that using drugs should be considered 
uh, illegal at all. I don't think uh, it's, it's not really anything that bad. If somebody's addicted, you get them addiction treatment, and it works a lot better. Like the Portuguese model. At the same time, I can at least comprehend why the Filipinos would get tired of pre high prevailing drug use rates. I can understand why they would be dragging dealers out in the street and beating them. And let's face it, some of these people are are involved with other crime as well, like human trafficking, uh, child sex rings, they're selling weapons, you know, in addition to drugs, or they're literal pushers. They do try to get people addicted. It's not common per se here, but I can imagine it's a little bit different in some, you know, densely populated, uh, developing, but not quite developed yet, nation like the Philippines. I can understand there might be a different story on the ground there. I mean, the Philippines and, and Thailand as well have a lot of like sex tourism going on and all of those sort of white collar upper middle class you know middle aged businessmen here go over to boff teenagers in Southeast Asia they're probably snorting the coke and shooting the heroin and doing stuff like that so I can understand why the Filipinos get tired of it get tired of the fact that there's prevalent poverty there it's fed by these same gangs and drug dealers anyway and the poverty just leads to more human misery, and then people are selling their bodies, people are selling drugs, people are taking out hits on each other. Uh, it's it's a, a spiral of stupidity. I'm not surprised they're reacting this way. Uh, you know, so-called human rights. Well, the United States is one of the gravest violators of this, uh, not because the people of, of the United States have done anything wrong, but because D.C. is overrun by warmongers for some time, decades and decades since Vietnam. Um, since then, we've constantly gotten involved with these other countries. We, inv we keep invading them in the name of humanitarianism like we did in Iraq. Did it help anyone? No, it killed half a million people. That was W's fault. It was Clinton's fault. People like Obama were in favor of it when it first began for political reasons. Then, when it became clear it was no longer popular, suddenly there was a moral onus against all war, and they were hippy-trippy and waving peace signs around. I was against it then, I'm against it now, and I think we should leave the people of the Philippines alone to sort out the problem. I think they should be encouraged to sort out the problem. If you want it to be done in a different way, a more humane way, the way to do, go about that isn't to start calling names of, of Duterte, Duterte, or I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Say, oh, well, there's some human rights abuses going on over there. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, all those drone strikes in Yemen that killed thousands of children, Obama, that wasn't a human rights violation. The fact that 75% of those killed by U.S. drones are civilians having nothing to do with any war or struggle anywhere in the world. The fact that it's happening more and more prevalently. The fact that you wanted to bomb civilians in Syria in order to start a ground invasion. The fact that you praise the Muslim Brotherhood that tried to turn Egypt into a Sharia state. The fact that you praise the ousting of Gaddafi and the destruction of what had been the stable state of Libya. The fact that you praised militants in Tunisia that got their asses thankfully handed to them so that Tunisia didn't fall. This is the same Obama that wants to rant about human rights in the Philippines or anywhere else in Asia. These people are far more moral than him. If a person kills a thousand people, it's a drop in the bucket compared to what Obama's uh, actually responsible for. Bush, Obama, Clinton, all these retards. So him lecturing the Filipinos on human rights is a, a sight to behold. It's quite funny. Uh, it's very, very amusing. That's about all. Peace out.